Deep in South Africa, there's a very special place, a place that whispers stories of a powerful event from long, long ago. This place is not just a geographical location, it is a window into the Earth's distant past, a past that was shaped by forces beyond our imagination. This is the Redefort Dome, a place protected by UNESCO because it shows us the scar of a giant meteorite impact, the biggest one we can see on Earth. Imagine a meteorite so massive that its impact left a crater over 300 kilometers wide. The energy released was equivalent to billions of atomic bombs. It looks peaceful now, with rolling hills and winding rivers, but this place holds a secret. It's the oldest and largest visible impact crater on our planet. The landscape we see today is a result of millions of years of erosion and natural processes that have softened the once jagged edges of the crater. It's like a time machine, taking us back billions of years to the day the Earth changed forever. The Vredefort impact event occurred around 2 billion years ago during the Paleoproterozoic era, a time when the Earth was a very different place. But the Vredefort Dome isn't just about destruction, it's also a testament to the resilience of life. After the impact, the area slowly began to recover, and over time it became a haven for a diverse range of flora and fauna. It's also a story of how life survived and thrived after a huge disaster. The unique geological features of the dome created microhabitats that supported various forms of life, allowing them to flourish in an otherwise challenging environment. The dome shaped not just the land, but also the plants and animals that lived there. The impact altered the local geology, creating a variety of soil types and rock formations that influenced the types of vegetation and wildlife that could thrive in the area. Its unique rocks and hills created a safe place for many different kinds of life. These geological features provided shelter and resources, making the Redefort Dome a biodiversity hotspot. The Redefort Dome is more than just rocks and dirt. It's a living laboratory where scientists can study the effects of meteorite impacts and the processes of ecological recovery. It's also important to the people who live there. The local communities have a deep connection to the land, and the dome is an integral part of their cultural heritage. People have lived around the dome for thousands of years, and its story is part of their history. The Redefort Dome has witnessed the rise and fall of civilizations, and it continues to be a source of inspiration and wonder for those who call it home. This is the story of the Redefort Dome, a place where the past meets the present, showing us the power of space and the strength of life on Earth. It is a reminder of our planet's dynamic history and the incredible resilience of life in the face of catastrophic events. Over two billion years ago, before there were even dinosaurs, a huge asteroid, at least six miles wide, smashed into Earth. This cataclysmic event was one of the most significant impacts our planet has ever experienced. The sheer size and speed of the asteroid meant that its collision with Earth released an unimaginable amount of energy, equivalent to millions of nuclear bombs going off simultaneously. It hit near the town of Redefort in South Africa. Today, this area is known for its beautiful landscapes and rich history. But back then, it was ground zero for a planetary-scale disaster. The crash was so powerful, it changed the Earth forever. The immediate aftermath saw shockwaves rippling through the planet's crust, causing massive geological upheaval. Mountains were formed, valleys were carved out, and the very face of the Earth was altered in an instant. It made a crater so big, it was bigger than any volcano we know. This colossal crater, known as the Redefort Dome, spans over 186 miles in diameter, dwarfing even the largest volcanic formations on Earth. The crash was so strong, it turned the asteroid into dust. The intense heat and pressure from the impact vaporized the asteroid almost instantly, sending a cloud of debris high into the atmosphere. The crater it made was 186 miles wide, bigger than the whole country of Luxembourg. This massive depression in the Earth's surface is a testament to the incredible force of the impact. Melted rock flew into the air and rained down like fire, starting huge fires everywhere. These fires would have raged across the landscape, consuming everything in their path and contributing to a global climate catastrophe. The impact caused massive earthquakes, splitting apart continents and creating giant waves that raced across the oceans, changing coastlines thousands of miles away. 
These seismic events reshaped the Earth's surface, leading to the formation of new landmasses and the destruction of old ones. Right after the impact, everything was destroyed. The immediate vicinity of the impact site was left barren and lifeless, a stark contrast to the vibrant ecosystems that once thrived there. A giant hole was left in the Earth, filled with broken rocks. This crater, filled with shattered remnants of the Earth's crust, stood as a monument to the destructive power of the asteroid. Dust and smoke filled the air, blocking out the sun and making the world dark. This impact winter would have lasted for months, if not years, plunging the Earth into a prolonged period of darkness and cold. This was a huge event in Earth's history, changing everything for a very long time. The Redefort impact marked a turning point, setting the stage for the evolution of life in new and unexpected ways. But the Redefort impact wasn't just bad. In the long run, it played a crucial role in shaping the planet's future. It also helped make the Earth we know today. The geological changes it triggered created new habitats and ecosystems, fostering biodiversity. It brought important minerals to the surface, where plants and animals could use them. These minerals enriched the soil, making it more fertile and supporting the growth of diverse plant life. It also created mountains and valleys, which changed how rivers flowed, where oceans formed, and where life could live. These new geological features provided a variety of environments where different forms of life could thrive, leading to the rich and diverse planet we inhabit today. The Redefort Dome doesn't look exactly like the original crater anymore. Over billions of years, wind and rain have worn it down, and dirt and rocks have filled it in. What we see now is different, but still amazing. In the middle of the dome, there's a mountain called the Vredefort Mountain Land. This mountain was pushed up when the Earth bounced back after the asteroid hit. These are some of the oldest rocks on Earth. Around the mountain are rings, like ripples in a pond. We can even see these rings from space. They show us how much energy the impact had. Inside these rings, scientists have found lots of cool things. One of the most interesting are shattercones. These are rocks shaped like cones, and they point back to where the asteroid hit. They can be small or big, and they show us how powerful the impact was. By studying these shatter cones and other rocks, scientists have learned a lot about how impact craters form. This helps us understand similar craters on other planets and moons too. The Redefort Dome isn't just pretty to look at, it's a great place for scientists to study rocks. This massive structure, located in South Africa, is the largest verified impact crater on Earth. Its formation dates back over two billion years, making it a treasure trove of geological history. The impact brought rocks from deep inside the Earth up to the surface, rocks we couldn't see otherwise. These rocks, now exposed, provide a unique window into the Earth's crust and mantle, allowing scientists to study materials that are usually hidden far beneath the surface. Some of these rocks are over 3 billion years old. They have survived the test of time, offering clues about the early conditions of our planet. By examining these ancient formations, geologists can piece together the history of Earth's development. They tell us about a time when life was just starting on Earth. Fossilized remnants found within these rocks provide evidence of early microbial life, giving us a glimpse into the origins of life on our planet. The impact also made new kinds of rocks, rocks we don't find anywhere else. These unique formations are the result of the intense heat and pressure generated by the impact, which created new minerals and rock types. One example is pseudotachylite, a glassy rock made when the impact melted and then quickly cooled the rock. This rare rock type is a direct result of the extreme conditions during the impact event, these rocks tell us about what the Earth was like billions of years ago. By studying their composition and structure, scientists can infer the environmental conditions that existed at the time of their formation. Studying the Redefort Dome also helps us understand how impacts change rocks. The deformation patterns and mineral transformations observed here provide valuable insights into the processes that occur during and after an impact event. The dome has special features like tiny lines in crystals that show us how the shock waves moved through the rock. These shock lines, or planar deformation features, 
are microscopic evidence of the immense forces at play during the impact. This tells us about the pressure and temperature during the impact. By analyzing these features, scientists can estimate the conditions that existed during the formation of the crater. What we learn at Redefort helps us understand other planets too. The knowledge gained from studying this impact structure can be applied to similar features on other planetary bodies, aiding in our understanding of their geological histories. By studying impact craters, we can learn about the history of our solar system and how impacts shaped the surfaces of planets and moons. This research not only enhances our knowledge of Earth, but also provides a broader perspective on the dynamic processes that have shaped our solar system. The Redifor impact happened when life was just getting started on Earth. The impact changed everything for these early life forms. It was bad for some, but good for others. The impact made a lot of heat, which caused huge fires all over the planet. These fires destroyed a lot of life, but they also made room for new life to grow. The impact also released gases into the air, which probably made the Earth warmer. This might have been bad for some life, but good for others. The impact also brought important nutrients from inside the Earth to the surface. This gave food to early life and might have helped it grow faster. The Redifort impact shows us how the Earth and its life are connected. Impacts can be destructive, but they can also help life change and grow. Studying Vredefort helps us understand how tough life is and how it changed over time. The Redifort impact still affects the land today. It changed the shape of the land, where the rivers flow, and what plants and animals live there. The Vaal River, a big river in South Africa, flows through the Redifort Dome. The impact changed the river's path making it flow around the central mountain. This created special areas with different weather and plants. The impact also created springs and wetlands, places with lots of water. These are important homes for many plants and animals, including some that are rare. The different kinds of rocks in the dome also mean there are many different kinds of soil, which allows many different types of plants to grow, from grasses to trees. The Redefort Dome shows us how powerful the Earth is and how it can change over time. It's a special place that brings in scientists, nature lovers and tourists from all over.